Hello, my Pisces. Welcome back. All right. So, you know, like always, it's a general reading. So we're going to take what resonates here. I read how I read. You know, it is what it is. So if you would like to book a personal reading with me, the link to my website is in the description box below. Okay, I'm tense. I need to chill. <laughs> there, you could have a little bit of a tense energy or you could, mm, that could be your personality or you're dealing with somebody that's a little nervous. Um, what I'm going to do for you, I'm going to do a medley. So we're doing a little bit of overall energy, a little career money, a little love, some warnings to watch out for in October, see what comes up. Before I pull any cards though, um, the pre-shuffle energy when I was focusing on you, I feel like you've been in a waiting, a period of waiting I'm getting waiting and watching. Waiting for the right time, waiting for something to make sense. It's I, I also I you're spying on somebody though, or you're watching something very closely. Somebody could be watching you, but I am feeling like there's something you're watching here. Because you might be trying to understand it. it just feels a little bit stuck. Somebody might not be fully um, opening up their heart. Could be the masculine energy. It doesn't have to be. I was just kind of hearing that. Now, also, I'm getting a meeting. This could be a reconciliation or meeting up with someone could be a group event, it could be a date, it really depends, but I feel like whatever this meeting is for you this month, whoever you meet up with, could be a new person, but there's a lot of tension around this. Feels like there might be a hesit somebody's hesitant to either show up or approach this person or reunite with this individual or there could be like a lack of trust somebody with red hair could be involved i'm getting like it could be possibly curly it doesn't have to be bright red it could be gingerish i don't know it doesn't have to be but i'm getting something very a person with significant hair <laughs> or something or they care a lot about their hair um but yeah I feel though, whatever this is that applies to you, there's like something you want to do. You're stuck because you can't move on from something or you're waiting to do something. You're thinking about meeting with somebody or reuniting or going to do something. I want to say that whatever this is, this meeting will cause another thing to fall apart. So it will change everything. Like a lot of, um, because I feel like, I, I don't know, just this experience. Now, if this is you making up with somebody, I mean, it's, it's going to, honestly, I feel like you should, it's up to you, but whatever this is, you could be hesitant lacking trust but if you want to if it's something that you're thinking about i would give it a shot because i see that it could be changing possibly life changing it could cause an ending to something else it could also cause an ending to the stuck feeling that you've been encountering or you will be just feeling like something's coming crashing down and it's gonna have to do with meeting in person with another person meeting in person with another person whatever and if this is, doesn't apply to you at all, this could be somebody outside of you and this will directly affect you, but I feel like it's somebody that you need to meet up with. This could, this very well, it doesn't, it could be a meeting, a business meeting, work, a social gathering, but I am getting a little bit of soulmate energy and like love in here. I feel like a masculine is going to offer love or really be wanting to in the month of October, but I'm, I'm, I, I want to go as far to say that it could actually happen or you could meet a brand new person at a social event that you're not sure you want to attend. You're like, nah, I don't really know if I'm in the mood. Go. 
go. Something is change, big change here. Big change, that's what I'm feeling at least. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, pull some cards, shall we? Um, overall energy for Pisces, please, in the month of October. Whoops. Overall energy for Pisces in the month of October. Energy for Pisces. Overall energy for Pisces. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting a lot of com community, which is sort of similar to the Three of Cups. That's what I, to me. Yeah, it's like there's something else or a group of people, you know, a small group or one other person that is very significant to you. Or they will become that way. You got the thinker card. A lot of reflection. A lot of stuff going on in there. And then by the book. You may be trying to understand how someone wants something done this month. I feel as if, you know, you're going to be dealing with energies that are structured. That like things done a certain way. Or they may expect you to follow in line and behave yourself. And show up on time. Things like that. This individual likes order, or um, this is the energy that you're gonna be coming into. You may be thinking deeply about this, thinking about what is expected of you, what you want. Some of you may also like when things are clean, I'm getting. I'm, I'm hearing something about like liking tidiness. You might be cleaning things up or I mean, this could be you that implements things by the book, but I'm getting organization and a lot of deep reflection. That is the energy that I'm... Uh, reflection is coming out in different forms in a lot of the readings, but we are going to be going into a, a retrograde. I don't know the exact dates. I should look this up, you know, in between my readings. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, reflecting, figuring things out, Working on yourself, basically. Cleaning yourself up, being more disciplined as well. Some of you may try to kind of whip your own self into shape here. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and see what's going on for Pisces in career and money in the month of October, please. Career and money. And money for Pisces. Career. For Pisces, please. I feel a little um, sloppy with my hands. Some of you could be having something going on with your hands. Uh, Pisces, career and money for Pisces. All right. Ooh, ooh, okay. Oh, okay, so Pisces. Have you been having trouble with money ever? Well, here comes a new beginning here. You have a chance to start something new. There's gonna be a change, the, the timing, the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Cups, something is going to turn in your favor here. Definitely, you could be lucky, some of you may win something. Uh, for those of you that gamble, I wanna say that you will, especially if you're spinning some sort of wheel or like craps, you will be lucky this month in regards to something. You will get what you want. You may have to protect this though. You may have a, a lot of either competition or you may have to protect your money. I am getting something about uh, your online passwords. All this, make sure it's secure because I see someone potentially trying to hack into money or get a hold of money. You will get wind of this. You could get a notification. I'm getting alarm as well for some of you, um, could be a bank, but I do feel like everything's gonna be okay though, because the Nine of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, things are gonna turn into your favor. It's like a new start for you, Pisces. You are gonna be have, or the opportunity to let things go and be free, new journey available. There's something coming up ahead of you. Your life is going to be different than it has been in the past, and you may start to, in the month of October, to make moves to disconnect from that or something like that. 
Yeah, but I am getting like you're gonna hear something about your money. You're gonna have to and all <clears throat> I feel like you will be on top of your game though. Savings looks good. Prince of Cups, Ace of Swords. Somebody may come to your work and say something to you at your work. They may tell you something that you've been wondering, express themselves. They may say that they like you actually um, while you're in the middle of working and you know. I know this is a this is the work side, but I am getting somebody visiting you and, and expressing, or maybe someone at your work really appreciates the work that you do. You might be bringing a lot more money to the business. I just feel like you are the you're exactly what the doctor ordered. You know, you're <laughs> you Piscean are are what this person needs because you're able to. Do something very well, handle multiple calls or multiple things at a time. You just look, you look, good job Pisces. You are doing well. If this doesn't apply to you yet, this will come. Something's going to change in your favor. You, you could get the job you want. But again, you're going to have to defend your position. I think you will do so, though. No problem. All right, what's going on for Pisces in love for the month of October, please? Pisces in love, please. Pisces in love, please. Some of you may continue to be single or you will be single. It's got kind of like an independent energy. But there could be somebody that you have your eye on. This person, well, let me not say. I was going to say they're also single, but they might just be independent. I don't know why I hesitated. What's going on for Pisces in love, please? Pisces in love for the month of October. What do we need to see here? For Pisces in love. Ooh, hi, <laughs> Sus. Okay, so love's looking a little more funky. Okay, what is this devil card? You could be dealing with a Capricorn, doesn't have to be. This person though, they may reveal to you, they like to fight. Their mood, they might have some mood swings as well. <laughs> Earth and fire energy is what I have predominantly here. If you didn't know, somebody may reveal that they're kind of possessive, clingy. <laughs> I don't, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be laughing. That's not nice. But I am getting, it's kind of like a neener neener. I don't think that this individual revealed this at first or will reveal this at first. But they're moody. Mood swings. <laughs> Great. Run, Pisces, run. No, don't run. I mean, do whatever you feel. <laughs> But you do have a moody person that you're going to be dealing with. Or you might feel like kind of stuck to somebody all of a sudden. You're like, oh, God. All right. Um, clarify this devil card for Pisces in love for October. Oh, okay. So they could have somebody in their family that's really toxic. Or you could have trouble. Or, or like, I'm getting toxic family members being an issue in a connection. Or somebody, you know, maybe somebody's already married. And they're in a karmic relationship that they're stuck to. Or this is you, Pisces. Uh, this feels kind of like a lot of chaos, though. I will say you may... Um, you may want to get in your car and go home after the, it's just, it's exhausting. Let me show you. Okay. So <laughs> the devil and the two of pentacles. Okay. Um, okay. Right. So juggling. So you could also be kind of, some of you may be obsessively thinking about someone or something and you just don't know what to do about it. Five of Wands, Six of Pentacles. Somebody could be giving another person attention or they have a lot of people they have to give attention to. So, Ten of Cups, Seven of Wands. Oh, isn't it lovely? Okay, so trouble. <laughs> Their family members may not take to you or your family members may not take to this person. I'm just getting like kind of a lot of warnings here. This feels a little bit karmic. Um, and then the chariot card we're ending. That's why I say, you know, this is going forward, but I heard, you know, wanting to go home, wanting to kind of get out of here. So you 
Yeah, October, uh, you might essentially decide to walk away from something. I don't know if you're going to want to deal with this energy. If you don't know what it is, it could be coming up. Um, but somebody here is going to walk away because there's just too much chaos. I mean, I'm not saying that it's, you know, I don't see the Ten of Swords or the World card or anything that's is suggesting that maybe um, this is a permanent thing. But it does look like, you know, something might need a time out here. It's going to... There, there might be some things revealed, again, about someone's personality. Or you might notice that they have a lot of other people they're giving attention to. It's just like, this just doesn't feel very satisfying. Sorry. Not this month. Not this month. I, it looks better over here. I know. My, my, my German Shepherd had something to say about it. Okay, so let's go ahead, before we close off, let's get some warnings, things to watch out for for the Pisces, please. Yeah, it just, you could, again, you could be stuck to somebody dealing with something, but there's going to be conflict here. Yippity skippity, okay. All right, Pisces. Warnings and things for Pisces to watch out for in the month of October, please. Okay, uh, Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So watch out. If you walk away from somebody, they're going to spy on you. Um, for some of you, be careful of your car. I, I was hearing car, somebody might, you might be dealing with somebody that's a little bit, they might key your car. I mean, or you could be doing this. I, I, I don't know. This won't apply to everybody, but just be careful. Be careful because somebody is... I'm getting a weird vibe off of someone here. Um, and then the Five of Cups. So it's like you're going to be dealing with something, and I feel like you might be a little bit disappointed. The Chariot, again, moving on, moving forward, leaving. Um, and then Three of Wands. You might go towards something that you've been waiting on, which sounds a little bit strange, but it's like, the energy is waiting, but you might decide to go towards that. Okay, so why is that a warning? Let's see. You might find disappointment if you kind of stop and go, you know, if you, I'm going to go towards something and then you stop and wait, and then you go towards something and stop and wait. It's almost like a conflicting energy. You might be a little bit fickle on what to do, um, but this could become, this could make somebody even more frustrated with you. I feel like that's what I'm um, picking up so you're gonna have to make a choice do you want to wait for something do you want to go towards it or do you want to move on I, I'm I mean you don't have to make a choice but this fickle energy I think is going to cause more disappointment for you yeah I also feel like just be careful of waiting too long in general. Procrastinating on things like work, relationship-wise. If you want to do something or go towards it, communicate it, give that offer. Be kind of, try to be decisive here. Set yourself free. Um, okay, so that's what I have for you, Pisces. Bye-bye.